Hello and welcome to all of our viewers who are here with us today. I'm Kristen Schwarz, licensed midwife and MC here at Gold. And I have a special guest with me and it's Aiden Farrow. Welcome back, Aiden. Hello, Kristen. I'm glad oh, to be back. It's lovely to have you back. You have been presented for gold quite a few times, but it's been a little while, right? We, I think yeah. we chatted offline earlier a little bit. Yeah. So uh, welcome. Yeah. yeah, welcome back. And you, of course, a presenter at our gold lactation online conference, actually the add-on package yep. that it's titled, the package is titled a whole body approach to the clinical management of complex breastfeeding issues. And you have a very special topic. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. First of all, Aiden, where in the world are you located? So just our international, uh, you know, viewers yeah. can position you <laughs> in their minds a little bit. So I'm actually Australian, but I happen to be living um, in on Vancouver Island in Canada, on the west coast of Canada, um, the unceded territories of the Lekwungen speaking people, Songhees and Esquimalt nations. Um, so near Vancouver, for, for people that don't know, Vancouver Island, um, the city of Victoria. Um, so I've been living here for five years and, you know, it's, it's a beautiful place. It sounds like it. It must be absolutely gorgeous, um, yeah. the nature there as well. So, Eden, tell us also a little bit about your professional background. Uh, of course, you are in the field of lactation, but give us a little overview uh, about your journey. Okay, so, you know, I have a probably a little bit of an unusual um, professional background. Um, so, I came to lactation as a well-assured leader, so you know, very much parent-to-parent -parent support groups, became a lactation consultant. I was a lactation educator in the middle. Meantime, I was at university um, as an older student, and I learned about public health promotion, policy, all of these things. And so my presentations are always a combination of like some clinical skills, working one-on-one -on -one with clients, but also looking at the big picture of policy, what we can change, how we can make things easier rather than just treating the individual client. And then working here in, in, in Victoria, um, I work with Indigenous families as a family support worker. Um, infant, I've done some infant development work with this community and, you know, I've integrated some lactation support. Um, not so much as, you know, clinical one-on-one -on -one support, but, you know, education, um, you know, helping parents who are coming for our other services to, you know, talk about what's going on for them and referring to other providers if, you know, I can't provide that one-on-one -on -one support. And then, you know, when I can find the time, I also have a very small private practice where um, I've started to specialize just in babies with cleft lip and palate, you know, parents that reach me from around the world. I don't do a lot of these consultations, but enough to, you know, to, to learn some new strategies, come up with new ideas on how to make it easier. And, and these, these consultations I'm doing, um, are primarily online. So I've learned, you know, during the pandemic, I've learned how to do these <laughs> online presentations, um, online consultations. And, you know, benefit of that is being able to, you know, to specialize in a very specific topic, which is cleft lip and power. Yes. And uh, yeah, thank you for sharing all that because I mean, first of all, it sounds like your plate is full there. <laughs> yeah, a little bit too full. <laughs> Quite a lot to, to do, but I love how you describe it. You're, you're looking at the, you know, you're doing the clinical skills, you're out there with family supporting them, but also seeing the bigger picture of how, what can we change um, also in policies, how, what can we make better for um, the entire community? And I think this is so important, you know, and, uh, and I feel like sometimes lactation professionals, they forget what an important role they play, right? We, we're also busy, yeah. uh, con you know, for, which is most important, of course, focusing on the families we're serving, but it's also there that, um, um, that these professionals out there make an impact in the community. And I think, um, um, many lactation uh, consultants and uh, even allegedly, you know, peer-to-peer uh, -peer supporters, they don't even know what a big deal they are. And I feel like sometimes yeah, as a, yeah. <laughs> I'm a midwife, so I know I'm appreciative yeah, of all the absolutely. IBCLCs and lactation professionals out there because I feel like these are real change makers in, in yeah. society. Yeah, all levels of support, you know, and, and if you have the opportunity to be in the community and just have those casual, well, not casual, but unstructured conversations with families, you know, questions will come up, conversations yeah. about lactation will come up and parents will share their stories, their questions. And then I notice my colleagues, you know, my male colleagues, all of my colleagues are learning. When I hear them offering support, you know, it's then you know, we're really making change here when, you know, people don't have that education and, and, and role as specialists, but they're picking it up because they're hearing it because we're bringing those conversations into the community. Yeah. 
Beautiful. Love hearing that. That's uh, fascinating. Um, yeah, let's talk about your presentation, in, which is your specialty here. And the presentation is titled Breastfeeding and Chest Feeding with an Oral Cleft Scaffolding for Success. And um, what mm -hmm. I loved, I just got a sneak peek there. And I have to say, yeah. I have absolutely uh, loved seeing you in action in your presentation, because you're giving a lot of uh, tools, not only information on the subject, but also exercises and such. So tell us a little bit about what we can look forward to. And um, yeah, tell us about that topic. So this, I've been talking about oral clefts, you might have heard it called cleft lip and palate. Um, oral clefts is just, you know, umbrella term, just a little bit shorter, easier to say, I've described instead of saying cleft lip, cleft palate, cleft lip and palate. Um, but we're talking about these main classes of clefts. There's other rare types of clefts as well. Um, but, you know, in this talk, we're focusing on those main groups. Um, so I've been talking on this topic for 15 years now. And every time I give a presentation, I'm like, how can I show this from a different perspective? So if you've heard my talks before, I think you'll find some lot of new information and, and, and ideas here. So scaffolding is, you know, this concept of we're not, you know, we're not creating a structured, you know, rigid care plan for these parents, but we're offering them all the tools and knowledge that we have. And we're supporting their learning because they're teaching their baby to breastfeed or chest feed or oral skills and things like that. There are situations where we might, you know, do some concentrated acute um, therapy, like suck training over a couple of week period. Um, but often with families um, working with them remotely or, or working them um, in a less, you know, a less structured clinical setting, we're giving the parents the tools and they're going to go home or they are already at home and they're going to work with these babies, you know, especially with a baby that we're talking about in the, in the, in the presentation, we're talking about diagnosis, which could be a prenatal diagnosis, diagnosis mm -hmm. at birth, through to six months, 12 months, 18 months or beyond. So, we're, mm -hmm. you know, we can't be with the parent the whole time. So we're giving right. them tools wherever we meet them on their journey and, 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 and giving them ideas of how they can apply those tools and teach the baby mm -hmm. what the baby needs to learn. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, so important that these families receive good support uh, from us and 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 uh, that we uh, get the information, you know, educate ourselves we, uh, on this topic. And I, you know, something came to mind when you were talking right there about like, yeah, the diagnosis often or can occur prenatally, like through the yeah. ultrasounds and testing that's been done. Um, are you, do you work already a lot also in your practice prenatally uh, with, uh, with parents to prepare them on what's to come do they have questions talk a little bit about that as well um not so much uh, currently i haven't had um you know I've, I've 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 um you know i open and close my practice as you know as time permits um yeah so i did have a, a lot of parents who were all you know post palate surgery around 15 16 months and so you know this this talk you know talks particularly about the, that difficulty when yeah. i was um like a leadership leader um, lactation educator when I was very involved in parent support groups um, I was getting a lot of parents contact me who just received their diagnosis mm -hmm. and so there's you know there's a whole lot there happening you know parent can be upset they're processing raw emotions right. um, and and you know you have to be careful how you provide information but um, so you know it goes it depends you know where, where your referrals are coming from, how parents are hearing about you, you know, so you tend to have groups of parents all the same, similar ages, because they're, they're, they're telling each other about them. But, you know, I have a, an online support group on Facebook. And so, you know, we get, we'll get parents there as well, who've just found out that the baby has a cleft. And it's, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's deciding how much information that parent can, can handle, you know, what they can process later. Um, but definitely preparing for, for birth, it's helpful to, to you know, to, to know what, what, you know, what, what the parent wants to do as soon as the baby's born because that baby arrives and they want to be fed and you know absolutely yeah absolutely so and where can our viewers reach you is there a website or do you have you you mentioned a facebook group how can uh they yeah. reach you if they want okay to so in the handout i'll i'll, I'll um, have my website which is www.cliffwithimpalletbreastfeeding.com um it's currently down because I'm, I'm i'm floating a lot of new information rebuilding the website but you know i will have a section for providers with some you know um, information sheets, things that you can share with parents, um, some, you know, some, some things that you've heard about in the talk today that you can actually, you know, take home and use and, you know, blog with stories that were on my old website and, and new parent stories. So it'll be for parents and for, for providers. Um, and, you know, people are welcome to contact me through my, my email address. Um, you know, and, you know, there's not a lot I can do on an individual level if, if, a, if a provider has a, 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 a you know, consultation in progress. Um, but, you know, 
So I'm not very good at responding to those emails because you know it, it really depends. I, I can't do the consult right. for for the um, for the consultant, but you know I'll definitely you know I, I would love to hear other people's stories and their experiences, and so I can integrate it into my talks um, or compare notes, you know, with that kind of thing. So I really invite that from providers. And you know, if you have a case study or you want to write a case study or you have an experience that you want to share, you know, it's, you know I'm really looking forward to that dialogue. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much. And yeah, your presentation, again, I will um, name the title here, Breastfeeding and Chestfeeding with an Oral Cleft Scuffling for Success, is, as I mentioned, part of the lecture pack here at Gold, um, titled A Whole Body Approach to the Clinical Management of Complex Breastfeeding Issue. That uh, uh, lecture pad will be available April 3rd, so just around the corner, it will be available, <laughs> it will be published. And if anybody, yeah. and this is now out for our viewers, here, some information, if you would find like to find out more about this lecture pack, we invite you to go to goldlactation.com. And there you'll find information on the upcoming Gold Lactation online conference. Coming up here, we get started on April 3rd with our opening keynote presentation that is free of charge, absolutely open access for anybody to come and join us here and uh, learn more about uh, the field of lactation. That's our kickoff here for the Gold Lactation online conference. So as I mentioned, uh, don't forget, go there, go to goldlactation.com, reserve your spot there for the um, a keynote presentation and check out the lecture pack where we have Aiden Farrow's wonderful presentation on oral cleft. Thank you so much, you. Aiden, for coming Thank here you, today and <laughs> joining me here. And uh, it was a pleasure having you here. And thank you, everyone, for watching and have a lovely rest of your day wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye, everyone.